Now the serpent was more suitable than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And say, and he said unto the woman, Yeah, hath God said, Yeah, shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God had said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, You ye shall not surely die. For God does know that in the in a in the day ye eat, therefore then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as good, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasing to the eye and the tree to be desired, to make one wise. She took of the fruit, therefore, and did eat, and gave also into her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they swig fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord of the Lord God walking in the garden in uh, the cool uh, uh, on the in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called into Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, "I tried the, I tried thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself." And he said, "Who told you that you are naked? Has to eaten of the tree there wherefore I commanded you should not eat?" And the man said, "The woman." Whom you gave me to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is that has done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, serpent. Serpent, 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 because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon the belly shalt thou go, and dust shall you eat all the days of thy life. And I'll put enemy between thee and the woman, and between the thee. Seed and her seed; it shall bruise thy head, and shall rule his heels. Her his heel. And to the woman she said, "I'll greatly multiply the sorrow and thy conception in sorrow. Shall bring four children, and thy desire shall be the thy." To thy husband, and he shall r- rule over thee. And into Adam he said, because thou ha- hast nor hearkened into the voice of thy wife, and has eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, So shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for the sake, and so shalt thou eat of it all the days of the thigh. 
thor thorns also and still shall it bring forth of the sea and so shalt eat the herb of the field in the sweat of the, the thy face shalt do eat breed till through return into the garden for out it was it was to taken for dust to art and into dust shall to return and adam called his wife named eve because she was the mother of all living into adam also his wife did the lord god make cast of skins and clothe them and the lord god said behold the man is becoming one of us to know good and evil and now lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever therefore the lord god sent him forth for the garden of eden to till the ground from whence he was taken so he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden of the garden of eden 